How about an early season winning streak? That's what the Royals are looking for tonight, going for a third straight win over the White Sox. And with it, the Royals have a chance to bring their record above 500. Up into that wind. And Hampson brings it down for the out. And Waka's next pitch, change up, strike called. Roncana could not pull the trigger. And Andrew Vaughn with two down. Chop left side. Garcia spins, throws, and that's the inning. Very quick, and very efficient first inning for Michael Waka. Chris Flexen going to the mound. This is his second start as a member of the Sox. Last time out, went into the fifth inning, gave up four earned runs. Garcia with eight hits and 34 at bats. Over the mound, over the bag. And DeYoung isn't able to glove it. And Garcia is on to begin the bottom of the first. Bobby Wood Jr. with the runner at first base. Base hit right field. And Garcia turns and holds. That was just 103 off the bat. Yeah, he's in a slump. Benny squared it up. He is out number one, and now it's Salvador Perez. There's the ground ball to third. Mancada over to second, now to first. And that Taylor made double plate. Evan Sheets first up for the White Sox. And he hits one hard, but right at the second baseman, Lofton. Slow roller shortstop played by Bobby Witt. He throws out Pilar. Popped up by DeYoung. And Garcia has it. That's a six pitch inning. Michael Walker has thrown 14 pitches, 12 strikes. So two down here in this bottom of the second. Second baseman Nick Lofton swings at that fastball. Fletcher chasing in the gap and will slide and make the play. A tip of the cap from Chris Flexen. A one, two, three second. Michael Waka, who has thrown 15 pitches, 12 strikes. He's retired the first six White Sox hitters. Sosa smacks this one to center, and the diving play by Isbell cannot be made. Lenin, just back from the minor league, starts it off with a base hit, thus ends the perfect game by Michael Waka. So that'll be a base hit, and the White Sox first base runner. Chance for two. Fletcher can run, and the Royals turn it. That's the seventh one this series. Wow. Up into the air to center field. Routine for Isbell. Thanks to a double play, Michael Waka still faces the minimum. 8 9 1 coming to the plate here in this bottom of the third for the Royals. No score. Flexen, just a nasty curveball, gets the strikeout. Here comes the 0 2 pitch to Isbell. Fastball swung out and missed. Strike three. Back to back K's for Flexen. He's got three total tonight. Second time through the lineup for Flexen. For head wind up, and here he comes. Garcia skies it right center field pretty deep Fletcher drifts back has room he makes the catch backpedaling toward the warning track and that ends the inning three strikeouts and a scoreless top of the fourth for Michael Waka he's got four total K's tonight through four scoreless innings in his home debut Bobby Witt Jr. leads off the bottom of the fourth inning scoreless game between the Royals and White Sox first pitch from Chris Flexen. It's a fastball grounded toward the hole between third and short. Moncada to his left, scoops it up and throws to first. Brings up Vinny Pasquintino. First pitch to Pasquintino. Fastball chopped toward first. Vaughn knocks it down, picks it up. Underhand toss to Flexen covering the bag. He's there in time. Two outs. Two pitches, two outs for Chris Flexen. Here's Salvador Perez. Here's the pitch. Perez skies it down the first baseline. Vaughn sprints back. Sosa runs over. Vaughn's in foul ground, battling the wind. He makes the catch. So the Royals go down in order. Michael Waka has thrown 50 pitches, and that includes a 22 pitch fourth inning. Down goes Pilar. Yeah, now he got away with that. Now, hey, the changeups, when they're up, they're very hittable. When, when they're executed perfectly, they're really tough to hit. Paul DeYoung popped out to third. These two were teammates in St. Louis. Squirted off the end of the bat, and Waka is over to cover. Lenin Sosa, he singled to center field in the third inning. 2 1, and a swing and a grounder left side. Third baseman Garcia cuts in front of Bobby to make the play, throws to first, and another 1 2 3 inning. 
for Waka. That's his third one, two, three inning of the night. How about Chris Flexen? I mean, he has been really in control, hitting his spots early on. Yeah, I think uh, the key, 11 of 14, first pitch strikes. Nice scoop by DeYoung, and he makes the play at first. Paul DeYoung raging to his left to make the play, and now Nelson Velasquez. Right side and through, and the Royals have a base runner for the first time since the first inning. With two on with one out, and Hampson, the scheduled batter. And a throw to second, and they're going to get Velasquez. Chris Flexen just picked him off second base. That's a huge play, out number two here in the fifth. One, two, call strike three on a curve to get Hampson. Great work by the White Sox on that pickoff play. Walk has now thrown 60 pitches. 40 of them have been strikes. And he gets another strikeout, his sixth. Martin Maldonado, the batter. That is a fair ball. Martin Maldonado with his first hit of the season, digging for two, loses the helmet, and Maldonado has himself a one-out double here in the sixth. The pitch to Benintendi. He's hit hard on the ground at first. Scooped by Pasquantino. He will underhand toss it to Waka at the bag for the out with Maldonado advancing to third. So two down, and it's up to Moncada. Moncada strikes out on a changeup. His seventh strikeout of the game. He strands Martin Maldonado at third. Bottom of the seventh inning at Kauffman Stadium. Royals and White Sox still scoreless. Right-hander Chris Flexen is back on the mound, facing Salvador Perez. The wind will push it into the corner, and it's off the wall. Benintendi played it very well, and Salvi holds with a long single. He hit it off the end of the bat. Okay, that's a breaking ball down, and he has such a special gift to be able to lift those pitches, but he didn't get the meat of the barrel on it. That is a 350-foot single for Salvi. Now MJ Melendez bats. Fastball crushed. Deep center field. Fletcher races back. Still going. At the fence. Leaps, and it's gone. It goes off Fletcher's mitt and over the wall. A two-run shot for MJ Melendez. We are scoreless no more. The Royals take a 2-0 lead in the bottom of the seventh on a two-run homer from M.J. Melendez. M.J. Melendez blasted it through the harsh wind and right over the center field fence. Chris Flexen did a terrific job tonight taking it into the seventh. He's going to leave trailing 2 to nothing, but it doesn't diminish the effort that he's had, which from start to this ending was very good. He's most unhappy with himself, but that's a fine performance. Runners on first and second. One out, bottom of the seven. Isbell lines it to left field. Blanco had to freeze on the line drive, so he'll move up 90 feet. And the bases are loaded for Michael Garcia. So now the batons pass to the top of the Royals lineup. The Garcia entered tonight with eight RBIs, second most on the Royals behind Salvador Perez. Fastball popped up, shallow right field. Pilar sprints in, Sosa back, reaches out, can't get it. Off the heel of his mid, it falls. Blanco's in, Hampson's held at third. Isbell up to second. Garcia on at first. An RBI blooper, and it's 3-0 Royals in the bottom of the seventh. Here's Chris Stratton getting a save opportunity. He's throwing about 100 pitches out in the bullpen, and he's coming on for a save. Line left field and Blanco is there to make the play and Benintendi is three for 32 to begin the year. One two pitch strike on the outside corner. Moncada called on and strikes. To Bobby Wood Jr. And the Royals have won their first series of 2024.